Hello everybody. Today I want to talk about Final Fantasy VII and the recent news that it's going to be episodic. Square Enix announced um, on December 6th, two days ago, um, that uh, Final Fantasy VII uh, is going to be episodic. Um, they decided this apparently based on the fact that um, you know everybody saw the trailers about how, how high quality the game was. And basically, um, they're saying they couldn't possibly fit a game of that size uh, and make it that quality and fit it into one game. It would be too much effort, um, too much work, etc. Um, what I'm curious about, first of all, is will it be open world? Because if it is open world, it's going to be a little difficult to make that episodic. Uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to restrict uh, areas until further in the game? Or... Why not? And it just seems like, you know, the effort that they say it would take to make it all one game, well, they're going to put that effort into breaking it up. Uh, it's probably the same amount of time, energy, and money um, than, you know, just basically remaking the game. Um, but they do claim that they're going to, they want to add content. They want to make it different. Apparently, they're going to be removing a little bit here and there. I don't know what they're removing. That remains to be seen. Um, but what what they've said is that um, they want each of these episodes to be like basically a full game. Um, here's exactly how they said it. They said instead of concluding in one entry, multiple entries are being considered in development. Each entry will have its own unique story. As a gaming experience, each entry will have the volume content equal to a full size game. Now. What I'm curious about is <laughs> what does that mean? Um, because the reason why they can't make the game, um, or they say that they don't want to make the game the same uh, same size full game as the original, is because nowadays um, very long drawn out games are becoming a rarity, and uh, you've you've got um, games that are, you know. 10 hours long, 15 hours long, like that's pretty much the standard. Um, I, and RPGs are known for being much longer, but that's the thing. Like, what's a full size game? What does that mean? Um, it's it's up in the air, you know. Like, you know, what is that? Is, is that you know, Portal? <laughs> is that um, the Order 1886? Um, I don't know. And I mean, hey. I'm not going to say that's what they're doing because we don't know and they could come out and have a, a 30 hour long game or a 40 hour long game or something like that but you have to keep in mind the original game uh, was 40 to 60 hours for the the main story and up to 100 hours um, if you were a completionist and you got everything and did everything you could. Um, so that's quite a bit of, uh, of content and uh, you're going to split that up over, I don't know how many episodes, but I'm going to assume it's going to be around five because that seems to be the uh, the trend. Um, but you know, I'm 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 just curious why they can't do the same thing that um, other games like uh, Grand Theft Auto, um, Fallout 4, Witcher 3 that are current games that are, have amazing graphics and they still manage to give you a gaming experience that's a minimum of 40 hours up to 100, even over 100. And about the fact that each episode will be its a unique story and, you know, basically will have its own conclusion. Um, it just kind of makes you wonder, well, then, why why Final Fantasy VII? Why call it Final Fantasy VII if you're going to change so much and you're going to um, basically not make it one story and you're going to uh, basically um, restrict possibly what the user does? This might not even be open world. Uh, you've changed the battle system. Um, you know, you... you, you you keep you've got the characters from Final Fantasy 7 it's still part of Final Fantasy 7 I get that but you know why not you know just call it you know chronicles of this and that the uh, freaking origin story of cloud whatever
you know. But the 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 the, the, the fact of the matter, I'm asking why, but I, I know why. They're doing this because Final Fantasy VII sells. It's it's something that people. It's a game that people love, and they're they're capitalizing on this. And you know, I again, we have to wait and see. You know, they they. They probably won't go the telltale route with two-hour episodes because that would just be ridiculous. Um, but you know, I I think that you know the understanding of of full games though is up to interpretation. A full-size game, who who knows what the hell that means nowadays? Um, and you know, and and let's be frank, episodic content. You know, um, as much as I I'm I am a total victim to telltale games, and I by pretty much everyone that, that I've seen with the exception of Borderland and I enjoy them you know um, it's episodic content it's still a, a way to release a game and Square Enix have even admitted that this is why they're doing this to release a game as soon as possible so basically you know getting people to pay for a game that's about barely like 20 percent finished and even in most cases, they'll offer some kind of pass, uh, you know, for the entire season, which most people will go for. So they've actually bought the entire game, even though, you know, at most they've got 20% of the game actually finished and ready. Um, so I find that that's a little bit, I guess, underhanded and sneaky. But, I mean, who knows? Square Enix could come out with, you know, five episodes that are each 50 hours long and it's some amazing freaking game and you know who knows i just i doubt it <laughs> um so yeah i don't want to be overly pessimistic but i i personally don't like the idea of episodic content um i generally wait for all episodes to be released before i even purchase a game um and you know one of <laughs> Uh, one a good example of why to do this is a uh, Telltale game, uh, Game of Thrones. I bought, oh, fuck, when did I buy that? I bought that like I think like the end of spring last year or something like that. And so I, you know, I had a couple episodes that, that were already released. So I played through all those or watched all those, and um, then um, then came July. They released. Uh, 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 the fifth episode so I guess I had four episodes for that and then from July to November nothing came out and they were basically releasing at about a month a month and a half um, in between each episode and so I was stuck like basically every couple weeks checking see when when are they releasing when are they releasing they didn't even give a release date until just when it was about to come out and that just kind of goes to show their their attitude. Um, I wouldn't say like they have any contempt for the consumer or anything like that. I just think they they're at a point where they they don't even have to care about um, how people feel about anything. So you know you've already bought like um, about eighty eighty five percent of the game, and you're waiting for that last episode. They know they have to release it, but they're really in no rush. There's no there's nobody that's going to be. Uh, basically saying uh screw this um i'm suing you or anything like that people will wait and they'll get the episode so you know they they took their their damn time and it was it wasn't anything special it wasn't longer than any of the other episodes it was you know and anyways i'm going on a rant on telltale right now but <laughs> my, my point is is you know if you get into that episodic content and you know you love the first uh, the first episode and you're one of those people that have to finish something that you've started, you're basically screwed if they decide to just drop the ball and start releasing low-quality um, trash. So anyways, that's my thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, do you think they're going to uh, do something amazing with this? Are they trying to screw us all over? Uh, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.